As I have recently got into purchasing silver, I've had some unique thoughts about the process. I've never been someone to carry a lot of cash around. I've never had a lot of excess capital. As soon as I entered the workforce, debit cards were accepted nearly everywhere, so I'd only pull cash from the ATM when I needed it. Strangely enough, checks were still accepted when I started earning money. Rarely did I need cash. I've never had a lot of respect for paper money. I've had respect for the work that it represents. I've had respect for the goods and services that it can be exchanged for. But the currency itself always meant less to me than even coins like pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters, especially quarters. Quarters were my favorite form of currency. Now, silver is most commonly traded in bars and rounds. The value of silver makes it an easy denomination of value in single ounces. Uh, fractal ounce coins and bars were never really practical for silver, uh, more so for gold and platinum and other metals around the thousand dollar per ounce mark, um, or representatively high value throughout history as the dollar purchased more back then. Because you don't really get change if you're toting around one ounce rounds, so it's it's best to have the fractals for your larger gold and platinum and, what is it, rhodium. I still don't have wealth. This acquisition of silver is a gamble. A gamble with good odds. I found since researching precious metals, it's good enough of a gamble for me to invest into instead of paying off my standing debt. Before this point, all of my excess income, my monthly disposable budget, was basically used to clear my home loan. Because there was no investment I could feasibly make, I'm not a high-risk guy, which would consistently pay out more than the bank was taking from me in interest. I, I, I got a good loan, it's not a super high rate, but even then, it's, it's hard to get a consistent investment to pay out more than four or five percent and at that point I might as well just give the bank my money so I can have my house. Well, silver is overdue a market correction to a higher value, a much higher value. All the signs and the news point that way. Go out and do your research. Manufacturing consumption of silver is set to increase significantly into 2020 and beyond. Production of silver is steady if not declining. And it is becoming more and more difficult to chase silver out of the ground in mining operations. When they do get silver deposits, they are lower and lower quality. Um, somewhat akin to what we're doing right now with, with oil. We're finding out how to use lower quality oil deposits to produce what we need because, well, we keep on using it faster than the earth would create it, however it's created. Uh, these are just a few of the speculations for silver. What I'm getting to on this is that silver is an investment that will hold value, like any precious metal investment, but silver has historically been the most stable. More stable than the dollar, the euro, or any other fiat currency printed out of thin air. Significantly more stable than gold. Gold can be very volatile. It also offers protection, significant protection against inflation should the value of fiat currency weaken significantly. It's money that I don't feel I'll lose. Unlike gold especially, silver is easy to verify in your home. There are various methods you can look them up, from the sound test, to a density test, to the magnetic slide test, that will all leave you reasonably sure that your rounds or bars don't have filler in them. Unlike gold, whose density is remarkably similar to, say, tungsten and lead, and quite often scammers have filled bars with rods of these other metals, these other, these other heavy metals, in the right quantities to imitate the weight by volume of gold. You would have to melt or chop your gold to be certain, all of which decreases the value. Silver currently is also cheap enough per ounce that such fraud attempts to mix it with other golds aren't really worth their money to prove out. With gold, it's it's a lot different because gold's sitting at what twelve, thirteen hundred dollars an ounce right now. So if you can fake even a couple of grams of gold into a one ounce coin, you're making yourself hundreds of dollars um, by again defrauding people. I prefer silver rounds as close to the value of the metal as possible, and a well minted round. Um, 
some of them are dull. I, I prefer them not to be dull, but appealing. Uh, on the other hand, some rounds, like, say, the Chinese Silver Pandas, can almost double the, val the value of their metal per round because of their craftsmanship and appeal. Let's say silver's sitting at around, like, $18 right now an ounce, and the Chinese Pandas, you get them for uh, about 30 maybe a little over 30 once you talk about the commission that your seller's going to get. Um, and it's still just an ounce of silver. It's just a really pretty ounce of silver. As pretty as they are, I'll take my American prospectors. I just I want I want a decent looking coin as close to the value of the metal as possible. These rounds remind me of casino chips. Although I've never really been a gambler, uh, everyone that's ever wanted to put money on a bet against my money has always had a higher income or more wealth than I. So it was a game to them, but an opportunity for me, both good and bad. Um, I'm not handing them my labor on these paper sheets. It's stupid. They face little consequence for losing the same amount of money that would take me months to replace. So I stay away from even the office sports pools or brackets. I'm not, I'm not holding out, handing out my money to other people. I'm going to hold on to my money. However, were I to have wealth to squander at cards or table games, I wouldn't exchange cash for chips. I prefer to play with silver rounds. Could you imagine the poker tournaments they have where everyone has a couple hundred dollars to buy in? with a chance to qualify for the next level of competition, all played with silver instead of cash and chips. You come in with 15 or 21 ounce rounds, and then <laughs> if you're the victor, you leave with a few hundred ounces. That'd be exciting. 